Hello, I'm Wayne Emmy here in beautiful San Diego. Today I'm standing on the bower of our latest offering to the classic yachting community around the world. This is Dauntless, a 60-foot Alden stay sail schooner that was launched at the Dauntless shipyard in Essex, Connecticut in 1930. Can't help but think of what this beautiful boat would say if she could only speak. Imagine the faraway harbors and romantic ports that would be in her memories. Adventurous cruises by the captain and crew as they explore distant horizons. So follow me now as we take a walk back in time aboard Dauntless. We will start our journey from the bow. Beginning with the bowsprit, there's a spinnaker and a jib or a 110 Jenny from the forest day. Forward on the deck, is the 60-pound CQR anchor operated by a remote-controlled Nielsen windlass. The foremast is glued hollow wood with halyard winches. A spare 100-pound Danforth anchor is stowed on deck just aft of the foremast. Amidships, she has two variant 35 winches that handle the sails. Further aft, she has four variant 28s to handle running backs and fish and golly sails. The mainsail is raised and lowered into lazy jacks. All the running lights are original fixtures but have been converted to 12 volt power. Sail inventory includes a small jib or a 110 Jenny, the mainstay sail, and the main. She also carries a fisherman and a golly wobbler, and this all adds up to a total sail area of approximately 2,200 square feet. This offers a wide sail selection for a boat of this size and all sails are protected by new UV canvas while at the dock. Of course there is the beer cooler. The spacious cockpit seating provides plenty of room for an active helmsman plus six crew members or guests. The starboard seat holds two propane tanks and the port side is a miscellaneous locker. You can see the original John Deere engine instruments and depth sounder that have been rebuilt. The hull on Dauntless is double carvel planked with mahogany. The keel is lead with an enclosed prop and protected rudder. She was surveyed in 2010 with no issues. Dauntless measures 71 feet overall with the length on, length on deck at 61 feet and a 13-3 beam with a 9-3 draft. Let's now go below where we will start with the bow. Starting with the anchor locker, which contains 375 feet of 3 8 inch triple B chain. Aft is the line locker for organizing all extra lines. In the forward stateroom, you can see to port and starboard, there are two unicellular foam B berths with convenient storage below for additional road, life jackets, and tools. Various overhead hatches provide egress, ventilation, and light. Moving to the midship accommodations, there are two bunks to port with storage under. To starboard is a small settee with two overhead hatches, a hanging locker, and cabinetry for personal items. Just aft to starboard is the forward head to serve the four berths. There is a salt water flush system and a vanity with fresh water rinse and storage for toiletries. Into the main salon, we find to starboard is a chart table that also serves as a dining table that seats four. This table also drops down to a double bunk. The rum cabinet is close by. To port is a large settee. The port and starboard cabinetry doors are faced with leaded stained glass. She also displays an array of plaques that illustrate her being featured in wooden boat shows in Southern California. Above the settee on the port side, in the cabinetry is the communication and navigation electronics, including a single sideband radio, VHF radio, and the Robertson Autopilot. Just after this is the renovated main electrical distribution cabinet. The complete electrical system has been renewed in the last four years to current compliance. Next to that on the port side is a hanging locker and plumbing access. At the main mast is an antique pot belly stove plumbed to a propane tank which easily heats the entire boat. In the galley now immediately starboard of the companionway stairs, it features a large three burner propane stove with oven that accommodates full meal preparations. She has a double stainless steel sink with a salt water pump and a fresh water rinse. Included are a large 12 volt freezer and refrigerator. Above are cabinets which include custom fitted storage for utensils, flatware, spices, and dry storage. Below the cabin sole is a 40 gallon gray water tank and four fresh water tanks for a total of 240 gallons. All five tanks are stainless steel. 
All light fixtures on the boat, including the original tulips, have been renewed to 12 volt power. Past the companionway, we move into the master stateroom with two large bunks with, again, unicellular foam mattresses that do not soak or get damp. Personal items are kept in a hanging locker as well as a bureau. The master also has two settees. The stateroom has its own head with private access. And the bilge pumps are below the master stateroom. Finally, in the engine room is a new 135 horsepower John Deere installed in 2011. The engine room also contains four 8D batteries. One battery is exclusively used as an engine start battery and is charged with its own 100 amp alternator on the starboard. In addition, a secondary 130 amp alternator services the three house batteries. Nautilus carries 70 gallons of diesel fuel in two tanks on the port and starboard. The engine room is protected by a 12 gallon per minute Jabsco bilge pump. Over the last four years, there have been over $100,000 spent on the renovations for Dauntless. Thank you for joining me today. When you come aboard, you won't be able to hear her voice, but rest assured, she will speak to you. If owning and sailing a legendary classic is in your dreams, you need to come to San Diego to explore this magnificent yacht. In closing, I wish to offer my services to distant yacht brokers by providing a knowledgeable courtesy showing to your clients. It's been my pleasure to share this with you today, and I appreciate your time. Have a great day on the water.